What's good, future millionaires? We back with another banger, man. Y'all know we normally start off with the sheet videos, but we just got a major announcement from Volt Inu that we had to drop ASAP. So now I need y'all to follow Volt Inu if y'all haven't already, but you can now officially vote on three of the top blockchains. So, you know, this is something we've been waiting to happen. It is now officially live. Volt Inu is now on the Polygon blockchain. So let's cover everything that has been dropped today and just get caught up with, you know, everything that's going on at the moment. So you can now vote vote on three of the top blockchains vote trading is now live on quick swap decentralized exchange for those of you that like polygon blockchain you think it's easier you think you know uh you're more familiar with it now you can vote too so uh here's the dex chart let's take a look at that crazy vote inu is on polygon okay let's get that adjusted we got that Okay, take a look at this candle. Super bullish right now. This candle is ridiculously bullish. This means that the price wants to continue to shoot up to the upside. Of course, this is only one candle to go off so far, one daily candle. But likely, this is to continue. So uh, it's official, y'all. Let's go back to Vote Inu Twitter page. Shout out to y'all reaching out to the channel. I'll tap in with y'all as soon as this is over with. But you can see uh, smart. the contract address is here. I'll retweet this out as well so y'all can check that out. Uh, shout out to Jake. He uh, dropped a stream on it. Shout out to Gilbert as well. This is what everybody is talking about today. Volt Inu smart contract on Polygon has just deployed. Trading will go live on Dex, on Quick Swap Dex within one hour. Shout out to Pablo as well. Think about how many different communities are being alerted about this at the same time shout out to believes also then we got the uh vote inu battle royale game out the voltage dragon sailor club nft uh you know game how will the dragons be integrated and what will they earn from the game whenever this answer is released the dragons will definitely vote so for those of you unfamiliar with this this is the vote inu nft collection not this actual character here but this is the game version of the nft character so we got basically some nfts that just cover basically like the head and the chest portion of these dragons but we just collaborated to uh get a game developed basically like a fortnite type of game where you can run around having a battle royale and this is what the characters are looking like but what he's talking about right here is the fact that all nft holders will receive some type of benefit or reward from holding the vdsc nfts through the game so i'm excited about that because i'm holding you know a handful of those you know so uh you know it's nice to see the floor price floor price creeping up but also to see we're going to also get rewards just for diamond handing those nfts so voltage dragon sailor club docs or no docs 300 likes may the uh may make the dragon vote so you see we got those 336 likes right there get to see what that looks like let me know in the comment section what type of rewards do you think we will be receiving i don't think the game is uh pay to play just yet but if it does become that version we may get you know uh some type of monetary rewards as well out of that but i could see us receiving possibly some uh additional vote inu or something like that which is just as good as you know uh anything else to me so it started a few hours ago full announcement to follow what's for sure is for the next few weeks if you are in crypto you will vote so an average of 1.5 million to 6 million users every day that's what our next campaign starting in a few days is expected to reach for weeks so something massive something massive on the way right here coming from vote you know this is what you want to see you want to see a project that is continuously having news you know uh good news is better than bad news but you know news is what gives it that volatility news volatility is what attracts traders when a project has a decent amount of people trading the project i know a lot of y'all don't like to see people sell but that's a part of the cycle of the project growing that will attract whale investors and as more whales come to the project it attracts more whales and pushes the price up even higher volt inu is still a baby project building in a bear market so you got to remember that it's still uh you know yes volt is a year old more than a year old but it is essentially still in that uh that phase of you know just building a foundation a solid foundation if you ask me and when things do finally start to align this is going to be one of the projects that i believe will actually move so you know we're already we already seen you know what vote Inu can do but just you know think about what it can really do when all these things start to align we got volti change we got volti flex we got uh stage five of the roadmap coming up yet a lot of different catalysts that will all help move the price so shout out to rodney as well uh 
Also, shout out to JJ. He says, Coindesk tweeted, vote gaining recognition at an earlier market cap than she did at the time. So take a look at this. Despite a smaller vote army and market cap, it drew attention with comparable tweets like to Sheev's 100x large market cap. Very large corporations are watching. So we take a look at this. This is a, a screenshot showing February 14, 2023, uh, vote being up 49%. And we get Coindesk talking about vote Inu will burn 75 million worth of his own tokens over five days from an Ethereum to BNB chain bridge in a move it says will help improve security. So this is, uh, you know, just comparing it to Shiba Inu at the time, May, uh, May 11, 2021, Shiba Inu uh, was actually going crazy at this time. Up, oh, It looks like, uh, oh, they put it all time. But it says uh, Chinese crypto investors and traders are loving the self-designated -des Dogecoin killer sheep for his promise of more returns than the meme-centered Doge. So uh, Coin Coindesk tweeted this only after sheep hit a $13.7 billion market cap. And then they tweeted this one when vote, uh, where was vote around? It doesn't show the exact market cap right here. But it says Coindesk tweeted about us at... 100x less market cap than she so uh if that was 13.7 billion probably 130 billion dollar market cap somewhere around there but we got coin that's still uh talking about vote you saying crypto project vote Inu has released the first version of its nft focused battle royale game that is currently playable on personal computers so remember, this will be released on Steam. Steam has about 100 million monthly users, if I'm not mistaken. That is a large platform to be involved in. A lot of these people may trickle over to this game and then find out more about the vote army and consider investing or just, you know, consider, you know, providing more value to, you know, what we got going on on the game side, which could attract more investors. Because there's something called GameFi taking place right now where crypto meets gaming. And, you know, people are being paid now basically in cryptocurrencies to play the games that they let to pay play. But uh, with our Polygon listing, so this is we're going back in time right now. So it says with the Polygon listing being a few hours away, we already know the Polygon listing is live. There are already many fake vote tokens deployed on Polygon. So be aware of that, y'all. Only use the contract address that will be posted on our official channels. Don't answer DM slash comments and do not click any links and never share your seed phrase. Always remember that. Also, uh, it says so much happening daily in Volt, but the crazy part is most of it just groundwork. Volt Inu, VDSC game, Battle Royale, Alpha releases. So shout out to everybody covering everything. I just wanted to keep y'all updated. Let's take a look at Volt Inu on, uh, we got Polyneix talking about Volt. It says whole Volt to earn rewards with Polo Earn. 128% APY. Uh, shout out to Jazz as well. So we're going to check out the vote charts in a second. Vatoshi says February has been an incredible month so far, full of voltage. But since the end of the month is nearing and David didn't accept our bet, we will buy back and burn these tokens on Wednesday in case we don't reach a new all-time high by then. So if y'all remember that bet that Vatoshi put out there with David saying that if uh, Vote Inu reached a $30,000, uh, I mean, excuse me, if Vote Inu reached a new all-time high at that $250 million market cap level in February, they would send uh thirty thousand dollars worth of vote or Vatoshi was sent thirty thousand dollars worth of vote to uh david but since he didn't respond uh or accept the offer instead those tokens will be burned so this is showing you how serious Vatoshi is about the project because he didn't have to do that that's thirty thousand dollars that you know he could have just you know kept and did whatever with but decided to you know give that back to investors by reducing the supply so uh shout out to Vatoshi for that also shout out to pablo but let's take a look at the uh charts real quick Okay, so right now, vote, vote at that fifteen ninety two level right now. Fifteen ninety two down three point nine six percent. Drag that over so y'all can see. Okay, so this is the pullback right here. We seen we you know we're testing, retesting up above this area right here to target this area. 
Investors that understand technical analysis can see this, so they begin to sell off before this point, anticipating that everybody else will sell at this point. That's what makes it hard, you know, to break beyond these levels because, you know, people are going to want to take profit, but that's all a part of the journey. But take a look here. We found, we fell back, retraced, found support right along this lower Bollinger Band here. And we are on the day chart for those that are curious. So we uh, retraced and came back and tested this area where we were saying we should have broke out to this area right here where we predicted that we were breaking out to so we retested this area so this is a good support to see hopefully if we hold this level right here which it looks like we may because that is along the lower bollinger band and as you can see some of these candles are more confident than others because of the size of them as the as we move down the candles get thinner and thinner showing that you know the market is kind of in agreement where the price is and is as we start to see those doji candles roll out that's a sign especially in the downtrend that the trend is likely to reverse so uh also, if we take a look at the RSI, we got the RSI at a 47 showing that, you know, it is getting close to those oversold levels. I don't believe it'll become too oversold unless something happens with the overall market that pulls the rest of everything else down. But if it, things just stay kind of, you know, how they are, then, you know, uh, we might get around that 35 ish level before buyers start to step in. We might see it pull down just a, a hair more, probably around that. 15 12 level that's where it looks like the lower bollinger band is let me double check okay maybe 1495 is where the lower bollinger band is so if you see a wick down right there that may be a buying opportunity right there remember this is not financial advice never risk more than you're willing to lose but that's what it's looking like right now also the macd is you know primed to be able to start to curl back you know over the signal line and convince you know more buyers to step in as well which will push the price up even further as we retarget these uh 2000 uh levels so that's all we got for this video make sure y'all hit that like button on the way out if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button appreciate y'all for pulling up and we are